Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. We figured this time I should help Kristen make something. Let's see how Lewis's do. <laughs> Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly tutorials. If you like what we are doing, you can also join our not so secretive community on Patreon. Link in description. Let's begin. What do I do? You need to cut the whole template out. So. It's funny, I've, as long as you've been doing this, I've absolutely zero idea of what I'm doing. Whoa! I really don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I guess. You never see me doing it. I just, I just see the results. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for me usually. <laughs> so. Now get in action. Glue sticks. Hang on. Take your time. I've got one glue stick after all. So we will start with a chrysanthemum. So normally when you, when I have my own template printed out, because I somehow lost <laughs> this template, presentment template, I would just stick on to a piece of card so it's hard to do template, so you can use it easier. Mm -hmm. Do I stick the whole, do I have mm -hmm. to put glue on the whole bit? Yeah, so the whole thing is stuck on it. Because we are going to cut the template one by one out again. Just anywhere I just put it. Mm -hmm. There you go. And cut, we're going to cut the template out. Just randomly cut it up, we just need to have the template done. Oh, well, yeah, we are left and right handed, <laughs> flashing each other. Oi. <laughs> According to a template, but I will cut only the five petals first. I think the leaves, that leaf, I'm going to leave it out because uh, we're going to make a bouquet. As accurate as possible. Is it that difficult hmm? to cut lefty cutting it out? I mean, I've become used to it over the years, so. I'd probably find it, if someone gave me a left handed pair of scissors, I'd probably find it more difficult to use them, I'm going to guess. Wow. But you're better at cutting out anyway, you've been doing, you know, you've been doing this, things like this for ages, so you're probably more adept than most people. Maybe it's true. Than you really realise you were. Yeah, true. I'd consider myself an adequate scissor user. You're going to make into like smaller, kind into smaller pieces. How's that? Um, Is that not good enough? I'm sure it's fine. When it comes to into a big picture, you don't really see it. Yeah, it's just like sometimes... Out, this, this, this is just to create a template, isn't it? Yeah, this is a template, but we cut accordingly. So, um, I would say whenever I cut it, I always leave a black line. So I'm not cutting out the bad line, but I'm just cutting the black line, black line out. Oh, so you're kind of cutting on the black line? Like outside the black line. Outside cut. the black line. Mm -hmm. That's a good, good point, no, I never thought of it. It's just different pe people habits. And it really doesn't matter sometimes. It's just like everyone's flower is always different. Okay, now we have the templates, we're going to put it aside for now. And 
we're going to wrap some pliers. So we cut a strip about like let's say a centimeter. It really doesn't matter how. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What? what do I what do, do I fold it over like this first? Um. Yeah, That's just, what you've as, just done. yeah. As long as you cut a strip, that will be fine. Just you know, cut about roughly one centimeter, like strips. Just all of it. Not all of it, just like cut a, um, can be like let's say, this is like a really off cut strips, maybe we need like five of each or something. Four to five or something. Because if you have a lot more paper, you need less, but we have a really short off cut. Oh, you got five already, didn't yeah. you? Now, first of all, we have to tape the, tape the stem together. So we're going to tape the, oh you can do it yourself. We're going to tape this three stems together to make a thicker flower stem. I know I'm going to do one on top and one at the bottom as well. So it's like this. I think my standard flower stem size is about three wires, three 18 gauge wires. That's my standard flower Just stem. Just one at the top and one at the bottom? Yeah, and then make sure they are kind of like tight here. Yeah. I guess that would do. They're not flat, they're like, uh, they're like triangle. Right. So, so they make, when you wrap it, they will turn into a circle, more like a round Do I need to do cylinder. this again? Um, let me see. I'm sure that would do. Okay. But just, when you wrap it, just have a little fiddle. So we just stretch out the papers. Stretch it out. I think at least stretch three to four at the very least. Ooh, like this? Yeah, just stretch it out. I didn't even know crepe paper did this. Yeah, crepe paper, I think they are crepe like. Is that why it's called crepe paper? Yeah. <laughs> the clue's in the title. Yeah. There we go. Cut. Now we're going to use heat blade. Make sure this good when you open it, don't squeeze it at all. Just let it drip out <laughs> because this is a very liquidy glue. And what draw a line onto the um, strip. We need like we draw a line on three strips first, and then see how it goes. Really don't need any pressure, just let it drip. Now we'll need to wrap this. So put it on top and then we have a in an angle. So you will able to um, wrap the wire further down instead of wrapping on top only. Okay. So wrap in an angle so you've got like a triangle on top. This is where it all goes wrong, Christy. What? Already? <laughs> this is the simplest part. So normally you just wrap it all the way down. That's why it has to be in an angle. And just there you keep go. rolling down. Yeah, that would do. Just keep rolling down. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I just need to like. How about um, hold the pull it straight and mm -hmm. just roll this one. All right. Okay. Maybe that's easier. <laughs> so we got tension of the paper. Oh yeah. So even though my hand's touching the glue, it doesn't necessarily matter? No. Okay, I was trying to avoid touching the glue. No, it's okay. okay. I also got glue well, on my fingers. I thought if I touched the glue, it would take it off the paper. No. 
Okay, well that's... So I need another strip. So oh my gosh! <laughs> you can tell I'm not someone that usually does Anything. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to holding a pencil. <laughs> or a paintbrush. <laughs> I'm not used to uh, bending, bending paper and wire to my will. Here we go, look at this. That's a lot better. Yeah. This might actually be better than yours now. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> so hang on, I've not covered the whole thing. Yeah, so you just need to go on another oh. paper. So like you don't want to prepare to ahead because like Oh the, the glue paper, will dry. Yeah the glue will dry and then you just need to apply again. Whew, I guess I better do one more. Yeah you do. Oh, we've got how many more to do? No, I mean, we just need to do one. Oh. I'm just preparing it for like another flower or something. Since I got the Okay, am I finished? Is this the whole yeah. thing? Yeah, uh, you wish. <laughs> Is this wishful, my bouquet? Wishful thinking. <laughs> you wish that it's just a, a flower. So simple, hey? Yay! Okay, next we're going to cut petals. Yeah, so now we do the petals. So now we need to make sure the tip is around the edge and we just trim a slice out. Just trim a slice out. Like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Look hard. Tough. Yeah, I look hard on it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to this. Oh, okay. Uh, we we'll trim like uh, two for each. Each of them. Like trim two. Am I doing another one? Yeah, we need a lot of petals. We're not doing all the just one. Even though I've designed all the flowers and have forgotten how many petals I need for one flower. Uh, which one now? Uh, any, all of them need to have two basically. But which ones are the leaves? None of them are the leaves. Oh. I don't know where your leaves gone. What is that ring? <laughs> Alright! Concentrate, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> I know, but it's really raining. Yeah, that's why we're indoor doing this. So two of each? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go, that's two of each. Yeah. So, wow. You have two of each already. Yeah. And I don't. Hmm. Oh well. I'll go for one of these and two of these. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine too. And now we need paper clips. First of all, we take like the smallest one out. I would say trim into like trim into smaller sections. Hundred percent. Like this. Yeah. Just like take one of them. The small one. Another one? Yeah, I think you, you better do another one. <laughs> so, and now, now we're going to fold it like here. So we fold it according to the template. Just fold it into itself. Oh. Yeah, just oh. like fold. Ah, you didn't understand it. Like nothing. Is obvious to me at all. Like, okay. this, is, this is like I okay, absolutely okay, okay. have no idea what I'm doing. So fold one time at the back. Kind of like a concertina. Right. So yeah. Right. And to the left, the right, to the. I picked left, up nothing. To right. By way of, of osmosis from you. Yeah, and then you can stop like about the fourth time. Uh huh. 
like if you have done like four folds, I think that's kind of maximum you kind of can. Okay. Even if you think it's quite tricky, three times is also a good good uh, place to stop. If after you fold three times, you can just like clip a uh, paper clip, but you just only clip all the template and the paper together. Like this? Use a smaller one. I will put it in the middle because it's like I don't want to interfere the the tip and also not at the bottom as well. Like that this. will do. And now we use the sifter. So this one, the special thing about this one is you, this one has to be continuous. So which means we cannot cut the bottom here, this area. So we cut it off because it's extra and we start from here. Oh. And then we cut according to the template. And oh, going to go closer in. You have to be as close as possible, as close as possible, as accurate as possible. So how do you get to the other end without so we hold if we hold it tight and clip it on the other side. <laughs> Take your scissors down. <laughs> okay, we do exactly the same and end here. This should look like this. Woo! Oh right, okay. Just finish. Right. Ooh, my template isn't stuck properly. Oh. Done. Yeah, that would do. Yeah, okay. That would do. Completely. That would really do. It really doesn't matter to be like, I mean, as close as detail will be is great. Yeah. But if you can't, then it's okay. <laughs> <you know? laughs> it looks like something. That's mine, and this is Lewis's. So we keep doing it until we finish all the papers. We're going to start from the smallest, the smallest petals. Take the smallest petal out. Like this one. These ones? Uh, maybe. Maybe? Mm. Yeah, smaller. So put it range like this. Put it in front of you. Yeah. So we will need our tweezers as well. So now we're going to start with this. Hold one of the hold one of them out. Just one slice. One well, I missed a petal set. They don't seem very small. Oh well, we get over on it. <laughs> so first, of, uh, first we kind of overlapping them. So hold the petals and then overlap it. So that they are all in line, but then they are overlapping at the same time at the bottom. Right. Yeah, you got it. Like this. Mm, okay. Um, How the hell do I do this? <laughs> so like. Okay. Okay, maybe. Yeah, you're kind of folding them together. Is that? Yeah. Uh huh. Kind of right. Yeah, kind of right. Just need to hold it <coughs> further down. <coughs> so that at this point is kind of like starting from one point, it's like radiating. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! What? Alright, I'll just show you again. So, again. Hold one, hmm? fold it to the middle. 
kind of second one. The bottom should kind of. Hang on, how do I fold it? So like open, fold. I would I do normally the one the first one on top, second on top of the last next one. Yeah. Kind of yeah. And then just keep putting the the right one on top of the left one. The the second one always at the bottom. Yeah, that's kind of true. Yeah, let's buy it. So that's why sometimes I only I even cut smaller strips. So I only got like five petals, six petals together all together. So you will be easier to handle. Yeah, that would do. And then you have to fold it like this. So you fold it to the back. Like that? Yeah. So that they will hold themselves together. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you see they don't really go very far. Mm-hmm. So that would be, you kind of need to do all of the petals. But I would say like, if you have really long petals, just trim it to like three or four. So it's right. easier to handle for yourself. Especially if you're a super beginner. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just... Okay, so now we check out a stem. So, which one is yours? This is yours. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so now, we're going to take one of the petals. I'm going to curl it. Like you took this. the small one? Yeah, the smallest one still. To curl it like, like this. Curl inwards, towards you. So the folding is outside to outwards. And then the petals curl inwards towards you. And you just do it all in one go. Ah. Like just it has okay. to be gentle, kind of pull it. They like movement. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> and then we add the hot glue. At the bottom, yeah, we add a hot glue at the bottom, and we can roll it on top. Hang on, just like this. At the bottom, the inward bit. Yeah, the folded bit. Yeah. Like right there. Yep. Now put it. You can put it just, that yeah, is. just roll it, oh, just fold it, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, we keep doing the same thing until we finish this, the, the baby rolls, like the first roll. Just like, curl the petals, like how I do is like curl the petals, hold at the bottom of the folding, and I just put some hot. Yeah. Where now? Here. Just on top. Yeah, just on top would be fine. Like that. Yeah. Just try to like their levels. Um, yeah. So you can just like. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> let's <laughs> let's say if you have struggles, I'll show you how. Maybe when you pull it on. Maybe just like hold the petal. You have the flower just on top. Just stay leveled and just squeeze them on top. You know? Voila. <laughs> I know it sounds easy to me. Too easy to me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would do as well. <laughs> 
in <laughs> the stages. Oh, because you kind of drag it across. Yeah, it. but then sometimes you might break it easily if you right. have the wrong pressure. So you can also like open. Like yeah, and then you can open this folding a little bit so more glue can get to it. And just kind of have some hot glue. Okay. Yeah, normally I just hold the hot uh, the gear and then just roll it over. But try to remember, like sometimes you already done one side, then you need to do the second side as well. So. Oh, my fingers are getting stuck. Oh, it's hot as well. So there we go. Uh, look at the elegance in this. Yeah. So make sure they are <laughs> all level, so they're not like uh, they're on top of each other mm. instead of like they're all going lower. Seems like and lower. a flower that's been stepped on. <laughs> we'll try the other later. Just like finish this step <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> and Lewis's crushed flower. Oh well, so well. So you make it look easy, yeah. and I make it look hard. I know. That's it's not a good, good balance. It's not good. It's meant to be. I don't think it's that difficult at all. Okay, cool. I keep going. So make sure you have done like let's say you have done the the right side. The next one you just need to do a left side, that kind of thing. So make sure they are kind of balanced out. Otherwise, your flower will be kind of like tilted to one side. Is unraveling a bit, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it just need to be. You haven't bent this one, that's why it's like so pointy. And then we just add a hot glue. Oh, yeah, we are left and right handed, that's why it'll be funny. So, I guess I've and we are hot glue there and, uh, and then we just need to add a little bit more here <laughs> here we go add the two extra to there I think that will work to where? to the so for example when we look at the flower this one look this side look very a lot of petals and this one look a bit sad so we will add the two here to set it but normally you just go around it so the petals it's quite rounded. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Okay, now we have to do the same to all of them basically. Now we go for the second smallest again. And then we just have to keep that pattern until we reach the last one. So we do the same until we reach this, the last one.
So what happened now, we need to do the final layer, but this time we curl it in a slightly different way. So when we gather it, just like gather it, Instead of folding outwards, we fold it inwards this time. Oh. So we just fold it inwards and curl the pencils. So everything is kind of in a curve. Oh. Ow. Why are you giving your tail so much? Yes, oh, yes. I think uh, the thing is, I also use more than just a metal bit, I also use a black bit here. So you see, I'm kind of like, you can curl it like from the black. You don't have the bottom kind of area this bit. So I curl it inwards? Yeah, just show yourself. You know, will you recommend this flower for all the um, kind of husband or boyfriends that want to make a, like an uncrafty person to make it work? Well, you know, I guess so. I mean, I guess it's um, after a while I got the hang of it, <laughs> kind of. Once I've now I've gone through the process, it's kind of relatively simple. So I'm sticking glue on it. Uh oh. And now I just put it on the outside again. Yeah. That's just keeping. There you go. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> yeah, I mean your flowers do look cool too. Have to say. Okay. Yeah, I think this flower is almost like it doesn't matter. We're just going to tidy up at the bottom. Have the, and then 
just put it on top to hide your stuff, but leave some on the stem as well. So I'll give a bit of a. Let me. flower and on the bottom to hide it to hide the ugly bit so we just like have another one just put like next to it close to each other or you can have a gap and go to the second round as well to fill some gaps so it's fairly relaxed and just put as much leaves to hide your kind of not appealing bit <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, there. Yeah. So I would say mine is pretty much finished in terms of the leaves. It's kind of hidden. All the my ugly bits really hidden. Every time we do it, it's so different to be fair. Never the same as the thing. I mean, more or less the same space. There we go. How's that? Let's see? Cool. Oh, and another one here. Right, you can squeeze it tight to the stem. I will add one more here. Here? Yeah, to, to be honest, this is kind of loose. Oh, yeah. So if you have one more kind of on top, it probably help to secure the petal and also secure it onto the stem. Here? Yeah. You just you can't see the folding musically mm. or the attachment point. Oh well, yeah, just like I need a more than this. So cool. So it's Is it really? It's not too bad, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can add a few more leaves as well. You want to do this? I think it's fine. Happy with this. Okay, so it's like this and this. I think it's pretty good. We'll I think take you this show bit of glue off. Yeah, I think you can show mom the glue. <laughs> I'm sure she's surprised. Okay, final step, last, last, last step, focus. So we have to kind of use it, you know how to wrap the stem? We're going to wrap the bottom as well because we want to secure the bottom leaves to the stem so we can hide them as well. So I'm sure just one strip of paper and just like stretch it out again. Just like you do again. And oh, you have to do it at the bottom of the of the Here. leaves. Further up even. Here? Touch the glue, even though it's not that big, but just keep wrapping it, keep going around it. Hold it, hold the top. Yeah. As long as the bottom is, and just keep. Yeah, 
that would do. Yeah, <laughs> it'll have to do. Yeah. You don't really think about it, do you? Yeah, it looks <laughs> And they just look cool anyway. Just like, that's easy. That's okay. Just and that's it. Do you like it? I think, considering it's my first ever attempt at making one of these flowers, it's not bad. It's pretty different to Kristen's. It's, yeah. more, it's more freeform. I think it's more relaxed and more, it's more interesting, I would say. And I don't think it's any problem. <laughs> as long as you've got some patience, I'm sure you can finish it. You can do it. But thanks to your guidance, Kristen, I managed to, um, to, to get it together. Yeah, I think it's no. a, quite a nice challenge for you. It's quite different because, like, um, Lewis always see me doing different flowers but he never never actually made any of them it's never i've never even thought about trying it <laughs> yeah he gave me yeah. comments and suggestions from time to time <laughs> I'm, good at, I'm good at telling you how to improve it yeah <laughs> not so good at actually doing it myself yeah so but it's quite fun to like do it on what my birthday it's my birthday today <laughs> certainly is happy birthday this is this is your birthday present oh thank it's me you trying one of your flowers yeah, yeah, it's difficult to convince him to do, you know, flowers. It's for you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. And yeah, try to convince your boyfriend, husband or partner to make one of these too. <laughs> Bye.